Good morning, I am Stacy, and this is my studio. Firstly, I would like to say thank you all. Congratulations, together we have got to a thousand subscribers. That is um, awesome. And if you look at my comments, my son decided he was going to write in my comments because he got on my, um, on my iPad and wrote how amazing he was. So <laughs> he did subscribe to me and so did my daughter. I was actually shocked my daughter wasn't already subscribed to me. What? Anyway, so today is the 28th. It's Thursday. It is 9.48 in the morning. Um, I have looked at my studio and it looks a mess. It is, it's, it's a vlog mess. A vlog mess. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, we've got to go through that with you guys. Look at that. God, I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> I did think how you guys are. And all the way down there. Now, I've got the curtain shut because there is actually fabric down the back. Okay, and our penetration all summer, or sun, does bleach real fast. So what happened to my hair. Sucked all the pigmentation out. It's turned it a slight grey colour. New Zealand sun. I don't say welcome and welcome back. Anyone who is... Well, welcome anyone who has never seen me before. And welcome back those that have and continuously come back. And to which I thank you. Greatly thankful for. Without you, I'm not me. So I have been still trying to get into... Um, answering all my comments, I was laying in bed this morning, I had Willow in between my legs on top of the duvet and Mabel was on the floor, the big lummox beside me, laying the game. I was like, what is it? And she sat up and then she's like, you could see her, her eyes were like, where am I going to jump up? I'm laying with my iPad open. And I have like, I have like keyboard things on it. So it's like a little laptop. So, you know, so it's like a laptop. And now nah, she just jumped straight right on here and then laid between me. Legs are spread, just lummox. And all Chris could do was laugh. And then it was like, pat me mum, pat me mum, pat me mum. So, yeah. So I got out of bed. <laughs> Uh, she actually she hops off fast. I had black ink on my on my um, wooden spoon, and I don't know where it came from, and it worries me because I know I used it to shove something up somewhere. Oh, that didn't sound good, did it? Anyway, so Christmas we've had Christmas, and we've got a few more days left of um, of two thousand and twenty three. On Saturday, I'll be having my second Christmas. The kids have actually asked for. Um, ribs and brisket and of course i'll make a salad again i will put some photos in this of mum and i having our bruschetto briscato the bubbly wine everyone in england drinks she bought it because um because everyone talks about it must be you know the, i have say everyone i shouldn't say well no you know what adam i think i th adam's mentioned it i know that ruan um rachel and tamlin have i know i think so dotty has allison um I believe julie even mentions it she sews her own clothes so yeah a lot of people drink that so mum and i thought we would try it i don't drink um wine or um bubbles much i only drink it with mum um because she's a wine drinker she doesn't drink spirits anymore um and uh so for special occasions like christmas you know we'll have a couple of glasses of bubbly but i once i've had that i go straight on to water so it was a very sober christmas day um but yeah it was not too bad and then we went on and just had the normal wine that we have, the bubbly that we have. So, yeah, so that was pretty good. Um, we are doing up the downstairs room for young Victoria. Um, she won the toss to get the room downstairs. So that's not on this level. So right above me is her bedroom and then Samuel's bedroom, our bedroom. This was the garage. 
and then you go out there and you've got the laundry straight out and then you go up to another level which is the living rooms and the kitchen and the dining living rooms one living room then you go down more stairs from here this level that takes you to a massive rumpus and what was a spa pool which it was the most scotiest thing ever i'll explain that in a second so and then you go into another room which where lily was sleeping and where my son alexander was sleeping um in that room and then you've got the shower or the bathroom ensuite built onto this this room there was already water down there but um it was only a sink it actually reminded me of a barrack room because we had sinks in our barracks room our barrack rooms in new zealand not in australia anyway so i had to very much convince my son oh, my eyes been funny that's why i got no makeup on no i'm, I'm raw um i had to convince samuel to take the two upstairs bedrooms and my my i did good victoria was incredibly impressed he never really got to, to show his cards whether he wanted to go downstairs. Uh, Victoria was sort of like, Lily said, who wants to take over my room? Or I'll, I'll let you take over my room, Victoria. Like, it's not your room, it's my house. <laughs> but anyway, so, so Victoria's got it. So what was I saying? Oh, the spa room. So when I first moved in, um, 2012, downstairs off to one side was a spa pool. It was red. It's quite narrow. And my ex-husband, I call it leprosy. And I always said, because I'm that kind of girl who makes fun of things like that. Um, because life's too, life's too short to be so, so serious, right? Um, and so he got eczema and he couldn't soak in spas or anything like that because it just didn't do his skin any good. We like drinking in a bucket and tapping it. Um, and yeah, so the first chance I could, we ripped this bar out. This is with um, Mr. Christopher and I. Um, my ex-husband isn't a trade-minded person. Very, very um, clever with computers, but not trade-minded at all. Um, so yeah, so we ripped this bar out and made it and turned it into a bedroom. So there's a very small bedroom, which is <coughs> a storeroom at the moment that has <coughs> bolts of fabric in it. And the big room and the bedroom off the side. Anyway, what I started off um, about six minutes ago saying was, yeah, so we're doing up that bottom room. It's never been stopped. So um, that's chip stopped. I'm putting plaster on it and things like that. So it's never been stopped because when we built it for Zander, we, we lifted the floor and took, they dropped the ceiling. So it was actually a, quite a low ceiling. So we took that off. And the rafters were like that much above the ceiling. So we took it off and flushed it up the top. We've got a beam that goes down the centre, but it's still high enough for um, us to get under. <laughs> um, Karina, I am on my next video right now. <laughs> Funny. Anyway, so... Um, yeah, so they're stopping that, and then they're going to paint it. She wants a white room, which I think is good, because you can actually do whatever you want to a room that's white. You, you know, you, you make it accented up with cushions and, and duvet covers and posters or framed pictures and things like that, which I'm not adverse to my children doing to their walls. And so, um, so we had to clean the wax off. Don't ask me why there was wax stripped down the wall. Um, all the blue tag that Lily left behind, um, yeah, so it just cleaned it up. And Victoria's very excited. She's helping Mr. Christopher with the process. And, then, and she'll be able to figure out why it takes so long for us to renovate something and it doesn't just happen overnight. Dad, oh, Mum, Chris, received a bag of plaster um, powder plaster powder you add it to water and then it cures and you put it on the walls <laughs> from dad apparently you're not meant to use it six months after shelf life shelf life was 2015 I guess dad didn't throw that out oops so um yeah so what am i going to do today oh it is the most spectacular day outside today 
um, it is going to be a woman and I will sit down on the deck at some time with a large glass of fizzy water. I'm going to drink lots of water today and I am going to clean this mess. Oh, what I will do, because i got to clean this and why mm -hmm. clean it when you can, you know, is I'll get, I'll tell you what I bought yesterday. I went to Pizza Pro. Now, you know, I made those Santa pants and I do have their permission and I will do it um, to put the kids with their hats on and their pants on um, on the YouTube for you guys to see. Um, but. Apparently Caleb, the eldest, he was he doesn't like a lot of, he doesn't like a lot of pants. Abigail's hardly wears them, so you know. So Caleb loved them. I mean every photo I've seen him in, except for one on Christmas Day, he had those pants on. <laughs> so I was asked if I could make some, but they have to be navy to go with his school uniform. Which yep. So I went to Pete's over Pro Rule because Chris was doing and fixing something at the pools. Because that's what he does. Right, firstly, let's have a look. I've got a little bag full of tricks. I had to put them all together. Because, and this is, I don't go to this Pete's often. Sorry. It's just because we were local. And I thought I'd go for a trip with Mr. Christopher. So I bought some big rings do uh, macrame and I bought some of the big beads like that they're not too bad some of them were lighter than the other and I actually said to her I said can you just swap those to match the same color as, as those she she was answering questions and I'd been standing there waiting to be served and um, she said, oh, do you mind? I said, no, no, I'm, I'm waiting for somebody else anyway, so I'm not, I'm fine. Um, just go ahead, just do what you got to do. And um, then she said, how much longer have you got? Because somebody else cut in sort of thing. And I said, no, I'm still good. And then I text Mr. Christopher and he sort of sent me a location on WhatsApp and he was almost there. So he walks in, she goes, oh, no. And I said, don't worry, he'll, he's fine, he'll wait. She's like, she doesn't know us. And I got a little flamingo. They're like little jubbly things. And I got these. So it's a little bird. Don't ask me what I'm going to do with it. Oh, that wing's whipped off. Get out the hot glue gun. No, oh, that hot glue gun is dangerous. Okay, so when it's not injured, this is what it's meant to look like. And it has a little clip underneath it. And I thought I might, I don't know, clip it onto the macrame. I don't know, but it's good to know that you got it. Right, so navy blue was the geo, and this is a really nice um, uh, rib. Um, it's just navy, and it just, it's got a really nice stretch to it. I felt the one, you know how I made that yellow, other pink and um, blue sloppy joe? Well, I don't think the ribbing had that much bounce back and I really wanted it to bounce back. I did. Oh, I've done a job. I did a job the other day. My friend's, my friend's hubby asked me if I had any, oh, you know, John C and AJ that came for Christmas lunch, asked me if I had any conduct, conduct, I'm going to look at the word. Yeah, conduct, conductive thread so that they could, on his motorbike, he can, ch -ch 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 and I bought some. Comes like that. It just looks like looks like um, embroidery thread. That's what it looks like. Maybe if I go over here. Oh, no, I don't, still don't know how to do that, eh? Let me know in the comments if I'm always showing you blurry stuff. Okay, right. So then I bought. Okay, and I bought, not then I bought, and I bought some of this. This is a navy, and it's a stretch fabric, good for your, your pants. It's got a little bit of texture to it, but it's a bit thicker, so I thought in winter um, he can have the thicker pants. So I'll probably make a, about five pairs for him, 
out of the blues and I'll, this blue here that's got oh that's just I think that's for me that's got a really nice it feels nice it's and it's just a stretch blue oh did the screen go yellow oh. and I bought this one here it was five dollars a meter it looks like it does have like a mark on it but we'll see and it's got good stretch too so I might make the kids um, summon these, but not he. I don't think he can wear this colour to school. It's it's more royal blue than blue. Then royal blue than um, navy blue. Then even the lady, I explained to the lady what I was doing. Even the lady behind the counter said, "Oh, this is not for your grandchildren." Then I said, "I don't know. Abigail might want a pair of pants out of it." <laughs> Isn't that cool? I think she needs some black ribbing for another jumper or something. Uh, but I reckon I could make a nice pair of little, because um, it takes up stuff all fabric, these hair and pants from Wave and Wild. Um, I might make Abigail here. While I was eating, she's eating sticks and leaves. Um, and this. This is the same feel as the pink and blue. And that blue there, that blue ribbing, matches the blue perfectly. That is blue, not black. It does look quite black. Does it look more blue up? No, it looks blacker. It's blue. It's a royal blue. Oh, denim blue. Oh. Navy. Navy. And the other thing I bought was this fabric, which I thought was very pretty. I got three meters of that, I think. Cool, huh? I thought it was. And then I bought these. <laughs> the buttons. So I can put them on. <laughs> and then of course what do you buy when you go to the pizza emporium is you buy a knife oh it's wrapped it's stuck on i was trying to pull it off i thought it was a, like a sheath cover good for tomatoes and good for other tomatoes oops probably shouldn't have done it that way they look too nice with green handles green handles are good so that's what i bought yesterday when i was out and about i'm trying to just i just want to get these pants sorted for um for caleb for school and i'll make him a pair of short pants so there's two lengths off the wave and wild and um so i'll make him a short pair as well because it is summer but yeah he loved them yay Okay, I'm going to go now. 18 minutes of your life you'll never get back. Sorry about that. Um, I'm going to tidy up my studio, I think. I better find out what I'm allowed to do today. That sounds really bad, eh? But they might have jobs for me. And I'm going to super glue this little birdie's wing back on. Cause... Oh, no, it doesn't. It sits inside. Oh, there you go. Fixed. Sit. Not fixed. Fixed, not fixed. I'll put a bit of glue on it and then shove it in. That is very nifty. My son's at Rhythm and Vines. I'm nervous as everything for that because I don't do crowds. Crowds freak me out. So he's there. Okay, so I'm going to go. Please stay safe. Well, keep dry. Keep warm. Stay cool. Keep on sewing. I know I haven't been. Keep on sewing and um, keep on sewing. Have no regrets. And hydrate. Okay, guys. I will see you and probably do something better than this next time. Thanks. Thousand subscribers!